What is up, you people? Luca here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about drop shotting. This is a very, very effective tactic. I don't care where you're fishing, you're probably going to catch a fish on it year-round. Could be in the winter, fall, summer, whatever season, wherever you are. This tactic is, well, basically what a drop shot is, is you have your main line, a leader, your hook, and then a 8 inch piece of whichever pound test of line you want. For me, I'm probably going to use 8 pound test in fluorocarbon, but you're going to have an 8 inch piece attached to a tungsten or lead weight. So, first we're going to talk about the gear that you should be using for drop shot fishing. This is a fairly light rod. It is a six foot eight medium, or six foot eight medium light. Sorry about that. And the reel is a three thousand Shimano Nasky with fifteen pound braid to a twelve pound four carbon leader. I have about six six or so feet of that. So let's talk about the drop shot itself. I'm going to put a picture in this video of a close-up of a drop shot, but just for instance, here's what it looks like fully rigged. See, now you have your worm and a hook and your lighter tungsten weight. Um, now, what you're going to be doing with this drop shot is you're going to be, well, let's talk about where you shouldn't be fishing it first. You should not be fishing it in grass mats like hydrilla or like grass mats in general because they're going to be floating. Um, a because your weight's not heavy enough and you should either be punching or flipping and B fish aren't going to see natural covers like this they're going to look black and blue. Um, Another thing about drop shots, you probably should be fishing it around clear water. You can obviously fish in the dirty water, but I just have a natural worm on here, or soft plastic worm, sorry. And you can fish it with craws, you can fish it with flukes, you can fish it with even creature baits almost, and it'll catch fish. So. I'm going to talk to you about the tackle I'm going to be using. Right here is a just a standard trick one, and I have a eighth ounce weight. I will show you this uh, a close up right here. You have a size. I will I'll go down to a all all the way down to a size 14, and I go all the way up to a size eight or size six, but. Just for now, I'm using a size 8, if you guys can see that. I'm using a size 8 Gamakatsu Stinger Hook. Or not Stinger Hook, Octopus Hook. And just a simple 8 ounce lead weight. Pairs very well. You can cast it a mile if you have the right gear and the right line. And um, yeah, that's about what hooks and what weights you should be using. Let's talk about the worm itself. This is just a standard old bass assassin lure or bass assassin trip worm uh, with a chartreuse tail. You guys can see that. Just chopped it. Yeah, it just has a char uh, chartreuse tail with a natural color body. And we'll talk about the ways you can rig this drop shot. Like I said, you can fish this all year round and it will catch you fish. But you have to rig it properly or else you will not hook into the fish that you want. What I'm saying is if you hook it just like this and you hook it with the hook exposed, you're going to get more takes and you're going to end up sticking more fish. If you hook it weedless, you are not going to get snagged as much, 
but the probability of you hooking into a fish and actually sticking that fish is going to be less than you leaving the hook exposed. So what I'd like to do is take off part of the head right here, just twist it, pinch it with your nail and twist, and the head will come off. Now you're going to rig this just like a nose or you would with like a live shiner or a live bait, any in that case. Rig it just through the nose, just like that. Drop that in the water and it will catch you fish. And that is it for the drop shot. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I'll probably be doing a fly fishing episode um, probably in the next video. But obviously I'm not going outside and fishing because it's 28 degrees and snowing 13 inches. But please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.